Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some more Diplomacy is not an option, shall we? Picking up where we left off with our campaign run, now that the campaign is uh, implemented more fully, and we need to repulse all enemy attacks and kill all rebels in the valley. So, um, I have a pretty good assortment of troops, and, you know, we could go around looking for rebels remaining, but I... Not sure where they are, but we'll find them. I'm going to unpause the game. And... <laughs> I had a person right here. I don't know if you saw that. They were, like, sick. I was wondering, are you poisoned? Nah, they were sick, but then immediately they got cured. Um, just kind of moving in to the town here. And let's see. So we have our troops moving. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this thing. And pick up this thing. And then, yeah, it looks like there might be some stuff over here. So I'm just going to venture this way. What is the attack thing? It's F. Attack and move. Yep. There's the rest of the rebels. Rebel scum. Got him. And that actually was. I mean, like, we're doing that completed the last bit of the objective. Now we're going to get attacked on both sides. So let's just do this. And then we need to um, move our troops back inside. And we will. And then we have people coming from both sides. So this means that we want to uh, build these walls up. And fortifications, just wooden walls will do. Do it. Now let's see if we can get these going. The stone walls are not in they're like in the worst possible place but that's okay it happens and can i build any siege towers at the moment um so they're coming from up here i've got two towers and then down here and i only really have um the one tower oh no no oh, yeah you just a one okay so that's fine just build another one So with my troops, I have two workers left. Let's go ahead and just keep training archers if possible. And we have no space for more people. The housing is full. That's okay. So what I want to do is say, okay, uh, you guys, can you go just sit yourself in that tower? We have a good amount of time, a couple of minutes before the fools come. Okay, so this tower is full. So all of... Oh, these are all swordsmen. And then all of my archers... Let's start getting into the right position. And my... Um, let's get the... Catapult out. And move it down here. Okay, so any archers that are remaining go in here. Thank you. Counselor, my lord, scouts report that rebels from all remaining camps are joining the attacking wave. The enemy is gathering all of his forces for a decisive assault. Okay, so luckily there aren't any for them to get. I don't know if I'm going to complete my walls in time. That's okay. I could deal with it. All right, so we do produce more food than we need. Um, this is saying, what, it's full? Yeah, it's full. I mean, that's a good problem to have. Um, All right. 
Oh, they did build some stone walls up here. I mean, it's mildly interesting. Now, we need, um, not a wooden tower. I just need a wooden wall, like, right there. Because I don't want them slipping through the proverbial cracks. We have 23 seconds left to make the dream happen. It's not happening. Oh, where's the archers? Didn't I send? Hmm? Yeah, get in there. Oh, these are swordsmen. Um, where's the rest of my archers? Do I not have any? That would be fine. Oh, yeah. No, I have three. Yeah, you guys. Huh? Go over there. They did finish the last wall. So that's encouraging. They're coming to try to get this tower done. Alright, here they come. My lord, the rebellion has entered the phase of a psycho uh, psychic attack. Oh, the peasants have decided to throw all their remaining forces at us at once. Victory is ours if the castle defense will hold. Okay, well, let's hope it holds. So, do I want to... I guess I could have been researching, and I, I really wasn't. I don't have any... ...of the right stuff. I don't have any of the cool stone. The only things I can do would be stained wood. That's good. I mean, might as well. And then... Do I have any of the special abilities? I have Astral Ray. Okay. And I have um, Dark Knights. So I have a good amount of magic that I can do as well. Let's see if we get this tower built in time. Alright, here we go. They're coming. Our units are in combat. Okay, so any units, just swords people, make sure you're inside for now. And then let's see, here come peasants and things are just getting wrecked and, you know, that'll happen. They're outside the gates. Um, I don't know if there's like a town bell you can ring to like get people to come inside. Close the gates. Our troops are under attack. Oh, that kills the people who are outside. Okay, open the gates. <laughs> Sorry. I thought, like, close the gates meant, like, they to the bad guys. Again. Okay, here they come. So they're coming from over here. And what we need is this, this thing's firing. Good. I'm going to start using my stuff. Astral Ray. Oh, my gosh. The bodies are flying. That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, I'm moving it around. Oh, I didn't realize it was lasting so long. Okay, I'm just holding it down. Oh my god, that was hilarious. That just destroyed, like, their entire army. I love it. They are attacking the walls. I dare you to attack the walls, because guess what's going to happen to you? Astral Ray, baby. That is too funny. Good luck. They got some more idiots coming. Have you met my rays? They're gone. Victory is ours. That's great. I'm not upset about that. Congratulations, my lord. The uprising is crushed. Survive peasants agree to pay taxes. Good. Everything's great. Got a lot of dog food. Got my head in my hands. Let us turn to current issues. Quartermasters, my lord, overdid the celebrations. One tavern burned down. 
Also, a pigeon arrived with a message from your uncle. Peasant revolt seemed to be happening not just here, but literally everywhere, my lord. Oh, the peasants. Uh -huh. Your uncle begs you to immediately come to Penderain and help him deal with rebels. He needs me to help, huh? I'll help him in Penderain. I know all about it. Alright, Penderain time. Um, we're going to go with challenge accepted. Hiding behind a noblest impulse to save your fellow man, you ran away from the endless troubles at home and rushed to help your uncle. No one met you at the gate, and your uncle's castle looked as if a pair or even two pairs of dragons had been mating on its roof. Delightful image. You were just about to flee when it turned out you didn't have enough provisions for the return voyage, so you ended up going up to Lord Penderain's chambers. Challenge accepted. What's up here in the chambers? How's it going, Penderain? Taxes. No. Taxes. No. So funny. You called for me, my lord. Are you sure this is the right castle? Oh my god, look at that dead body and a severed head. Welcome to Penderain, my lord. And these are your beloved uncle, Lord Penderain. And his faithful squire over there. They were violently murdered by Scott the Bloody, the one who headed the peasant uprising. Rising. He promises a fair prize to all who will support the people's anger. As for those who stand in his way, well, you could see for yourself how it ends up for them. Time to head home, then. I'm afraid it is not an option, my lord. Huh? The king's messenger has arrived. And? He brought the king's order. It's a rolling pin with paper on it. We are Ferdinand II, by the grace of the celestial power, the keeper of eternal peace, the bastion of goodness, the guarantor of justice, sweet sleep through it, and amongst other things, the king of Samrania. We thank you for coming to the rescue at Penderain. We expect that you, at any cost, will stop this imposter, Scott the Bloody. This rat in human form, this bristling louse, cowardice is not to be. Retreat will be deemed equal to treason. And the punishment for treason is death. Okay, so we get killed either way. Yeah. Through the public quartering. That's... The beheading is better. Okay. So, um... You know what's interesting? I was just going to say this. So basically, I was like, okay, this game is making me be Longshanks going ahead against, you know, William Wallace. 
um, and I'm the bad guy, effectively. But what if I weren't the bad guy, and what if I, yeah, side with the people? So, in May 4th, 1491, thousands of peasants from all over the country flocked to the banners of Scott of one Scott the Bloody. My uncle's castle is the last barrier to his army reaching the capital. King Ferdinand II the Fat <laughs> ordered me to stop the renegade at any cost. So I can do this for the king, or I could do this for the people. Um, this is a bad idea, but I'm going to do this for the people. Stand up to tyranny. You will become a traitor to the crown. The king will not forgive you, and you will not be able to return to the tasks he asks you to do. Besides, the path of a regime fighter is thorny, um, and the upcoming missions will be much harder to complete. So I'm. this is like the harder option, which is probably not a good idea, and I'm going to lose. But it, I don't want to be, um, you know... Well, let's not be too idealistic. I want to side with the people because I'm pro-people. But as soon as I or Scott the Bloody get the throne, the throne, it's just going to be the same thing, which is demanding taxes of the rest of the people. Um, right? Uh, but let's see. Uh, okay, fine. All right. Children of the Revolution, you gave Scott the Bloody your best men and let his people pass safely to march to the capital. The rebel leader gave you his word that he would be on the throne within a week and that he would thank you royally. But before the embers cool, Scott returned with a badly shattered army and eyes wide with terror. The king knew that you had defected and the whole army was on its way to Penderain to put an end to the unrest. As a traitor to your country with a hefty bounty on your head, you were forced to flee south with Scott's remaining forces. Okay. Alright, not not ideal. Try to clear the area from enemies before the final assault. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright. Um, all is lost. For the second week, we're retreating. Supplies are running low. The king's army is chasing us all over Sam Rainia. We have no choice but to find a stronghold and prepare for a siege. Okay. We got one. And Scott the Bloody and his men have entrusted their lives to you. Only you can save the cause of overthrowing the tyranny. Royal forces are almost here. Command, my lord. Okay. So this isn't good. Um, Alright. So we have a little bit of population room. And let's see. Do I have some builders? Looks like I have two. Or are these just not builders? Okay. So let's go ahead and... Um, hit me with... Uh, yeah, we at least need a builder hut. And then we'll need a house... Okay, and then we're going to need uh, lumber and fishing. So let's see how this goes. We've got bad guys coming. How many forces do I have? Um, I actually have an oak, like a some kind of an army. I've got just a ragtag group of of different units. That's fine. They're not like they don't group together. Like this guy is four tour, um, but this guy has a name, so they don't. They're not rank and file. So if I select everybody, they, they are. They look like they're the same type of unit, but they they don't stack because they have unique names. We value individuality here. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to speed it up to the fastest speed for a moment. Just build a few things. Okay. Actually, wait. What am I doing? Let me slow it down. And I need to be sending this, my group of soldiers out immediately. Um, 
to just see what's around here. We, there might be some resource caches. We have to scout this. Or not. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to keep this unit here, and then I'm going to just make this guy, Scott the Bloody, um, unit one, because he's so fast. So why don't you just kind of um, go around? Okay, here's bad guys that we have found. So I'm going to send... Um, I'm going to send Unit 2 over here to just, you know, take these guys out. The rightful King Scott the Third. Run! Scott! Scott the He's got a horse, too! What a jerk! Can you fight this guy? Our troops are under attack. What is going on? Didn't I just tell you guys to move up here and attack? There you go. Okay. Not this guy. Trebuchet or catapult, you stay back here. Our units are in combat. This idiot ran way up to the front. Four door. Okay, he's faster. He must have some trait that like makes him faster. All right, hopefully you restore your hit points. Oh, this is awful. I'm losing units left and right. I thought like we would be able to handle this. We are not able to handle this. Okay. Um. They weren't kidding when they said this was going to be harder. That was a mistake. I just kind of like, based on playing the first mission, the uh, the guys around were really easy. I mean, so, yeah, we killed some, but I'm not doing a good job. It, I'm going too fast, and then I have four seconds before bad guys come. I should have built a barracks. This is okay. I just have to learn this game, and so I'm going to have to um, play a lot better. I can't send my people out there. we got to defend the first wave. I mean, I need to recruit a bunch of people. I bet they are. All right, this is done. Where's the rally point? Yeah, over here. Just make as many guys as you can. And then can we... Uh, can I build a tower? It'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we are making troops. Um, the 
rightful King Scott the First. Oh, man. Yeah. Go, guys. Look at this little disaster. You get in your perch. Now let's, I hope there's not friendly fire with this catapult. I hope it's just devastation for the bad guys. Um, I did have, I could have been summoning Scott the Bloody and the vile usurper of power calls this an attack, poof. A bunch of miserable imbeciles in the service of the exploiter of the honest citizens of Sam Rainia shall never break our will to be free. Well, um, that took a lot of our resources. But that's okay. So we immediately need to build a lumber camp. We need so many lumber mills, I, I can't even um, explain it. There you go. All jobs need to be on that. How are we doing food-wise, huh? Um... This can't be accurate to how much I'm actually producing. Um, Alright, so food. Fishermen are making 10. 10 per day. Is that right? Is that with a full day of working? Like, you each produce 5? It takes 10 seconds to produce 2 food. Okay. We need a granary, and we'll put it like right by these places so it's easy for them. All right. So, uh, looks like Scott has got some of his hit points back. Now, I don't, I still don't think we can just take this out, but I'd love to. We lost a bunch of good men this day, but let's just see what... Let me see what's over here. I'm sure it's fine. Actually, we did kill a lot of them. So they do have some guys left, but um, we should take this out. I wonder if there's a way to prioritize, like, your guys. Like, don't attack buildings. Like, kill the people, then kill the buildings, if that's a thing or not. All right. So they're fighting. That's good. I have three. Um, we built the granary. This is good. We need to build houses. And we should probably get ourselves, uh, another fisherman's hut. And one, um, berry picker house. I usually have a bunch of berries close by. Yeah, there's a bunch of berries. Now, I could put them over here, right by the granary. Um, but this is pretty close to the town hall, so. That's all of our labor. So we did it. So, I mean, we picked a path that was probably dumb, but we can get these resource carts, uh, which, these have food, which is great, and we do have space to store it. And we have eliminated some jerks nearby, but we're gonna need a lot more before we can survive the onslaught. And we've picked a more challenging road, but I like that. And I hope you're still enjoying this series like I am. If you're, you know, getting further in the game and you have any tips or tricks you'd like to share about the game, that would be fantastic. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.